بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم لیٹ می وان یو گائز اف یو ڈو دس یو می بی بینڈ بائی آئلس فار تھری ایئرس ون آف مائی اسٹوڈینٹس ہی ہیز بین بینڈ بائی کیم بریج فار تھری ایئرس اینڈ دیٹ چین یور از فرام ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی ٹو ٹوینٹی ٹوینٹی فائیو ناؤ So I'm going to tell you all that story. I'm not going to tell you about his country and nationality. Let's just hide that. So the student of mine contacted me and first he said, Sir, my result has been delayed. What could be the reason? I said, no, no problem. Wait for a couple of days. And then he received this email from his test center that your test is actually under scrutiny that's what they say uh, the, the, your test is under inquiry now whenever they have inquiry there can be certain reasons one is your misconduct during the exam or misuse of any resources and all that and after that finally they gave him their verdict and the verdict is accessing test materials before now what is accessing text test material before i'm going to tell you about that uh well you know during the ielts test there are several checks and balance on ielts test there are several checks and balances and all that stuff now sometimes because you know ielts cambridge ielts they repeat the tests and there is a lot of human involvement in paper delivered ielts that is why they are promoting computer delivered ielts because there are less chances for these type of leaks now what happens some of the exam staff some of the test center staff and all that what do they do they leak listening and reading answer keys now when they leak listening and reading answer keys and they give those answer keys to the candidates and candidates cram they are listening and reading answers right and then they go there and without even listening to the audio without reading the passage they write down all these answers there accurately from their memory now if your listening band is 8 your reading band is 8 but your writing band is 5 and your speaking band is 5 then there is that inquiry on this thing whenever there is an inquiry they look into this and then what do they do they check your listening question booklet they see how you wrote the answers on your listening question booklet then they check your reading question booklet that how you highlighted the answers how you underlined the passage how you found the answers and these type of candidates they do fatal mistakes on reading question booklet either reading question booklet is empty or few things are written few are not passages are all blank or anything like that so this candidate he was actually caught doing something like that and one of my students who had purchased the answer keys and luckily tests were related to the same listening and reading answer keys they called him to their test center and they made him fill or they made him do one ielts listening and one ielts reading test and they said now we are monitoring you solve this listening test solve this reading test and there he got very low bench score he was panicked secondly actually before that he had memorized the answers and all that so my advice is on internet on instagram facebook you see we can change your ielts results we can change your bench score we have understanding with test centers and all that it's all fraud and fake there is no second way or there is no unfair way of getting your desired band in ielts i tell you now a lot of people know me a lot of people share their stories with me so until now no one has ever told me that sir i got my desired band i paid this much amount to the agent those who pay the amount to the agents at the end they are blackmailed and then they come back to me and they share their story and all that so don't choose any unfair means and one more thing you need to cooperate with the invigilators during the test another thing 
sometimes, not sometimes, always, when uh, they have the listening test, they will put the listening question booklet on your table upside down. Now, you're not allowed to touch it unless the exam superintendent or the exam supervisor announces, they say, candidates, you can start your listening test now. Then you pick up the question booklet, then the audio will be played and all that. What do some students do? It's there and they try to just see what's written and they try to read the questions. This thing may lead to cancellation of the result. In the worst, in the worst scenario, uh, you may be banned as well. This is also called accessing the material before, right? Now, for reading test, question booklet is on the table upside down. This side is all blank. It's there. When examiner says candidates, you, when uh, the exam superintendent says candidates, you can start, then you can pick it up. Same is the case in writing. But if they put it on the table and you pick it up and I try to read it all, then you may be banned or your test may be cancelled and don't argue with invigilators. You know, they note down all the things and at that time they will not say, they'll say, okay, it's all right, no problem, no problem, please do your test. And when you don't get the result, then you realize. Because during the test, they don't want to create mess with anybody. They don't want to mess around with any candidate. They say, okay, no problem. But they note down your candidate number. And then after 10 days, when everybody receives the result and you don't receive the result, then you realize what had happened, happened and what had you done during that and all that stuff. Okay? So please be careful. This student of mine, now he cannot, and they've written very clearly that if you appear in IELTS test, we will allow you to sit in the exam, but we will not give you the result. They have they've mentioned clearly in that letter that we will allow you to sit in the exam, but we will withhold your result or your result will be withheld. Okay, three years, three years is a long time. Like if he cannot uh, appear in IELTS, for three years, there will be a gap of three years and after that, universities will not accept him. He will not be able to go to a foreign country. Yes, he can go for PTE, but sometimes Cambridge and PTE, they collaborate as well. All right. Yeah, one of my Indian students, he's a very good friend of mine. Same thing happened with him. He was banned for two years and during this time, he appeared in IELTS from like at that time, IDP and British Council both were conducting exams in India. So he appeared from uh, British Council, from IDP, but you know, they accepted his money. They said, we don't say no to money. They allowed him to sit in the test, but they did not give him the result. Okay. Then he tried PTE and you know. Uh, maybe he, he passed through that and because PTE is a different body, IELTS is a different body. So like this, you can cheat or you can go for TOEFL or any other test which is non-Cambridge. Uh, this is how you can just go through this thing. But anyways, you should avoid all these things. I really feel sorry with this student of mine, my subscriber, that he's uh, been banned for three years. So now I don't know what, he, what he's going to do. But anyways, he can go for... PTE and this is how he can uh, go through his uh, dream or he can fulfill his dream to go to a foreign country. All the best guys. Thank you so much. He also teach IELTS online all over the world and on campus here in Lahore. If you want to be the part of my online or on campus IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Asad Yaqub truly wishes you all the best. Take care. Allah Hafiz.